Hi, I'm Dr. Stickler, and as you know, at the Apiron Center for Human Potential, we work a great deal with genomic medicine. And I want to share with you a gene that people are really excited about. They, they get excited when they find this gene because it has a fairly significant impact on lifestyle and especially when it comes to appetite. So this gene is what is labeled as TAS2R38. But what I'm gonna tell you is how you can check that gene yourself and find out if you have the traits that are associated with this. The TAS2R38 is a taste receptor gene. And when you were a child, you may have had the, the PTC strip test where you test it and see if you taste bitter. That's exactly the gene that's being, that we're talking about today is that bitter tasting gene. And when you have that gene, you have, if you have the normal variant, you will taste bitter with PTC. You will also taste more bitterness with coffee, with cruciferous vegetables, with more bitter tasting fruits like grapefruit. It doesn't mean you, you dislike those foods, but it means that you have a perception of a little bit of a bitter taste. Now in that, if you have the, the major allele, which is the G allele, if you have GG, then you're probably a taster. If you have the recessive or the minor allele, which is AA, that means you're a non-taster. Now this has pretty profound implications though, because this is the sugar gene. This is the one that when you go to the cookie jar and you eat one cookie, you tend to go back and have more and more until that cookie jar is empty. This is something that we see a lot in, in people that are going through weight loss programs. They'll, they'll say they have this tendency that when they taste sweet, they go back to it. Well, this is the gene that actually causes that. It causes something called a disinhibition of appetite. So when you are presented with a stimulus, it actually causes disinhibition. So you tend to want to eat and eat without any feedback mechanisms to tell you you're full or anything like that. People will look at it and they'll say, well, I have no willpower when it comes to sugar and sweets. It's not a matter of that if you're carrying this gene. This is, this is a gene that actually codes for turning off your inhibitions of eating. It's, it's not a lack of willpower or anything like that, but what you need to do is recognize that you have it. Now to test for this, you can do that if you've had 23andMe testing done, and I'm gonna tell you how to find it out. So you go to the 23andMe website, you sign in, and under the website, you're gonna to go to Tools at the top bar. When you click on Tools, it'll open a section that'll have multiple different areas in it, but scroll down to the bottom, and you will see Browse Raw Data. You click on the Browse Raw Data and it'll bring up this page. In this page, you have to enter the RSID of this particular gene that we're looking for. And that RSID, you will put in RS172-6866 and hit enter, and it will come up with your genotype right here. If you're the AA, like it shows here, then you are that person who has a tendency, and this isn't 100%, but it gives you a high probability that you're the person who, when they taste something sweet, they're gonna wanna go back to it. So what I counsel people on when they have this gene is to say, it's okay to have that sweet, but make sure you are in a situation where you don't have unlimited supply of that. So if you're going to have that cookie, make sure there's only one cookie there that you have access to. Because if that gene gets turned off or turned on, you're gonna really be finishing that cookie jar.